Hello guys and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I uh, picked up this game not so long ago, uh, a couple of weeks maybe, and I played the shit out of it and this game is amazing and I decided to make a series slash tutorial slash tips on it, so... So why don't we start already? Uh, so start the game and I'll start a new game. Brand new. And we'll just call this this and we'll play Sandbox. Flag. Uh, what flag do I want? Uh, I think bullseye is what this would look nice. Okay, accept. So this is kind of like a space simulator game. Um, I really haven't explored much of it. Uh, only the furthest I went was to the moon, uh, which is right there. It's really not far. This is the Kerbin. This is the moon. I will probably pronounce it more often as moon, not moon, but it doesn't really matter. So the first thing we should do, I guess, start easy, start simple, is launch a simple satellite into the orbit. Uh, so let's go ahead and build one. So there's a very simple design. I'm gonna take a pod, but we're not gonna have any crew on it because it's uh, just a satellite with a need and the crew can be all automated. So this is the command pod. We're gonna need some way to power it, so we'll get some solar panels on. And we'll get four of them. There we go, and we'll get some batteries to store that energy somewhere. Like this. Now we will want to move this around at least a bit. So just for minimum movement, we're gonna get some xenon gas. And a ionic electric propulsion system, which is gonna use the ionic gas, I mean not iron, center gas, and electricity to move it around. It's very it's very weak, but it's enough. The satellite is very very small, but that's all we need. Uh, we're just gonna add some scientific stuff on it, like the accelerator. Um, only one of them will do. We, need, we never need more than that. So we'll just put it inside so it doesn't take too much space. Thermometer. Though we don't really need to measure anything, it's in outer space, but. Okay. Controls are a bit awkward in this game, especially when you're flying, but it's not gonna be a problem. I hope. Uh, oh, wait, what's this one? A gravioli detector. Well, again, we're gonna be in vacuum, so it doesn't really matter, but just for the heck of it, we might add it. Because, why the hell not? So there we go, we're gonna add the uh, four Communitron 16s, so it communicate with Kerbin, or Earth, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, move it a bit at a steeper angle. There we go, there we go. so that's our satellite. This is what we're gonna launch into orbit around Kerbin. And we will need some way to launch it up there, of course. So, let's get a decoupler. Well, actually a stack separator, I would prefer. And under that, let's add the main rocket. So we're gonna have a fuel tank. Actually, let's slip this up a bit. Actually, let's add an ASAS module, so it'll be a bit easier to control. Advanced SCS module. SCS, if you don't know, is basically kind of like an autopilot. Uh, it keeps your ship steady. So we got that. Um, an engine for the main rocket. Not this one. There we go. And we're gonna need four, I'd say four more rockets to launch this baby into the orbit. So let's get four decouplers. Let's get the simple ones this. Let's get four more fuel tanks, like this, and the four smaller ones on top, so we have enough fuel, and four engines of course. There we go. Next, next some aerodynamics, let's put some caps on, wings on so this thing doesn't go out of control 
let's get as well some thrusters so it would be easier to control in the orbit as you know there's no air there or anything so the wings would be pretty much useless so some thrusters could do the work just fine and let's add some motor propellant for the thrusters and we can set it there that should be good enough so there's a rocket ready to launch into the orbit there's our satellite like all the stuff you need to launch a simple little thing but that's fine let's look at the launch order so four rockets go off they fall off little one goes off it falls off and the main satellite ion engine goes on okay that's fine, let's name it something. It's gonna be the uh, the red tube satellite. It's very important that we have this in orbit. The first thing we do, we probably no need to explain why. So we got RCS, which are the thrusters. We got SAS, which is the autopilot. Uh, we got everything we need, so let's launch this baby. That's probably the, every single launch, the launch phase in the beginning especially is probably going to be a bit laggy, but it shouldn't be a problem. So there's a rocket. Let's turn our SAS on. So we keep it, so our autopilot keeps it stable in a nice straight up position. Let's turn the throttle up. And launch the baby. Alright, there it goes. Now this should be plenty of fuel to get us into the orbit. I'm afraid this is gonna go actually a bit too fast. And we might I'm actually gonna put it roll down a bit. Okay, not that much. I don't wanna I don't want it going too fast because then our orbit is gonna be really big and I don't wanna have it big. As you can see this is our orbit at the moment. Not in the orbit I mean, but this is our apoapsis. And I don't want to have my apoapsis more than 200 kilometers out. Preferably, so I'll just put it the room, why not? For now at least. Once we hit uh, the second layer of the atmosphere, which is thinner, obviously you can have less air resistance and uh, gonna get, be going faster than this. But as I said, I don't want to go too fast. I don't want my apoapsis to be more than 200 kilometers on this one. That's 200 kilometers with you. Uh, it's 13 at the moment, so we still have ways to go, but not that much. So let's slow down, slow down a bit. I don't want to be going too, too fast. Our fuel is almost out. It's, we're 50 kilometers in, so we can start doing an orbital term, I guess. them and let's activate the other stage and let's get more of an angle here okay this should be fine maybe 150 kilometers will do just enough I'll go to 150 and I'll cut the engines I'll open my navigable I want to get into orbit first before I do any adjustments just so I have enough fuel so let us warp a bit till we get our apoapsis a bit more I can't warp more than four times at this at this altitude so you can see we're losing speed but it's fine we're still getting towards our apoapsis just floating in orbit for now but we're not in orbit because if we don't do anything we will just all back down to Kerbin. So we don't want that, we want to get into orbit and we will do that at the apoapsis. Ah, it's around here, it's a good time. So let's adjust 
let's turn our RCS on actually. Let's adjust our prograde right there. A just bit more, and there we go. And full speed ahead. There we go. This way, we should get into orbit in no time. At 150 kilometers, which is fine. I try to be perfectionist at this all the time. I want to like make the orbits perfect, as in have the same apoapsis as uh, periapsis. At least as similar as possible. So let's cut the engines. Let's wait till we get to our apoapsis again, because if because the apoapsis got extended a bit. And here, okay, let's turn to our prograde, which happens to be at 90 degrees at the moment. Let's put our SAS on right here. And full speed ahead again. Should have an orbit in no time at about 161 kilometers. So I'll try to get it the same. There we go, we have an orbit. At 161. About. I said I'm perfectionist at this. I really want to get this perfect all the time. 162, 160. There we go, we have an orbit. 162 kilometers and perhaps it's at 161 which is almost the same and which is more than perfect so there we go now uh, before I forget which I honestly I do all the freaking time is I always forget to extend my solar solar panels in the beginning while there's still energy in my batteries because what happens later on is I don't have enough energy to even extend the solar panel, so I'm basically stuck with a useless thing in space. So there we go. We can we have we have some fuel left, but we will not be needing this anymore. So we can decouple it and let it float somewhere. And there we go. We have our satellite in space. Um, also, just for the sake of it, it's really dark. I hope you can see. Uh, I'll toggle all my apparatus on, like the gravioli detector, the barometer, of course it's in vacuum so it's not gonna work, the thermometer which says it's freaking cold out here, and the accelerometer, which is zero g's because we're not accelerating, I'm moving at constant, uh, 2100 meters per second, also let's get our communications up, and this and one more, right there. Looks really weird, but it's fine. There we go. Now the engine is on. If we ever want to move, we can just turn it on. Of course, it moves very slowly. Like if you see, it's going to be increasing only ever so slightly. But it's fine. So there we go. We have our first satellite in space, which can. Which thank God for the Kerbals, it can stream safe pornography back to Earth. Uh, I believe that is the most important thing. Uh, one of the most important things, so that's why it had to be done first. They have to secure themselves basically, uh, their everyday lives. So there we go. Uh, resources, we have, we can have unlimited electri electricity now. As our batteries are full and we have solar panels. Uh, solar panels, of course, these ones are pretty cool. Instead of the uh, attached ones, these ones actually track the sun, so they will always, well, not always, but whenever they can, they will be turned towards the sun. So, yeah. And we don't really need anything else. Uh, sun and gas, we have 700, I haven't used one bit of it. But, I'm not gonna need it. Like, I just I just add the sun just in case we have to make any minor adjustments. Um, and 700 sun and gas is. God, more than enough to, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you could do that much. Of course, it's very, very slow uh, to use with the ion engine, but it's fine. So there we go. Our first satellite in space. I really like this design. It's very nice. It's very simple. It's good looking. Um, rockets, as you, as you saw, we don't need many rockets. We needed uh, five of them. Four, four for the liftoff and one to make... Uh, get into orbit pretty much That is well, we're not really carrying anything heavy. It's just like a minor satellite so yeah um, What shall we do next? I don't know maybe launch another satellite Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna launch another satellite around Kerbin 
Then I'm thinking of launching a satellite around the moon. And then possibly start working on the space station, which is gonna be annoying as hell. Because if you have played this game and if you know that if you ever tried docking in outer space, you will know how much of frustration and hard work it is. But uh, we're gonna do it, because why not? It's pretty cool when you do it, if you do it. First time I was docked, actually docked only once, honestly, but it took me like, I don't know how many tries until I got the system right. And the controls are really awkward as well. Um, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So there we go, our satellite up in the air. Let's warp time a bit so we can see moving around the Earth. Earth, I always say Earth for some reason, Kerbin. So it's on the dark side now. The dark side of the moon. Actually of the Kerbin, but... See, we're losing electric charge because it requires to it requires electric charge to keep the solar panels going. But there we go. We're getting it back up. As you can see, solar panels very nicely track the sun. And there we go. Our first satellite in orbit around Kerbin. So, uh. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna launch a satellite to the moon next episode. This is, this is gonna be fine. Satellite to the moon next episode. After that, we can we can get building like, the space station. And there, I guess we could try landing on the moon. And then at about episode, uh, God knows what, forty nine. Uh, we can go not the minimus. We can go better than that. All the way to freaking Ilu. Which is, oh my god, so far away. I have no idea what's there. I haven't been... I've played this game only for like a week, so the farthest I've been to is the moon. Not even Minimus. <laughs> Which is like... And there's like so many more planets. These two are just the satellites. The natural satellites, but yeah. This game is still quite early in... Not super early, but still early in production. So I do believe there's going to be a lot more to explore, maybe even more solar systems in the future, who knows. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Simple satellite design, very nice, very compact, good looking. And I'll see you next episode, bye.